Matthew Woodrow Wilson Wagner II is in our studio this afternoon with more about his decision. That's right. Let's send it over to 25 News Now anchor Don Brewaker. Karina and James, thank you. Welcome back into our studio. You've been in here several times as a political analyst on election night and other things. Uh, we have a different topic to talk about tonight. Yes, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, any other reasons b besides the ones we just heard about that really made you think, I I've got to leave my position as the chair of the Victoria County Democratic Party? It's a great question. I think one of the things I want to emphasize, Don, is that we've got some really fantastic people working in the Victoria County Democratic Party who are trying very hard to make this community better. Unfortunately, we also have folks that only want Democrats to meet with Democrats, and they don't want to open it up to more moderate or conservative voices. For instance, I would rather have events where we reach out to the community, invite everybody to the community to participate, rather than all meet at a restaurant with only Democrats and just talk about democratic things. And it became clear to me that the trajectory was moving more towards that instead of this inclusivity for specifically people of faith, specifically people that were conservative or moderate Democrats like myself. And I think it's best for the party that they select a leader that perhaps is more in tune with some of the priorities that they seem to have. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm stepping aside. It's been a great two years plus, but I think there's time for more challenges and more exciting things to do. I really enjoyed my time as chair, but I'm also in looking forward to having some more freedom in terms of not having that letter by my name mm -hmm. to open up more possibilities to help people. Mm -hmm. How long did you sense this isolationism gap, if you can call it that, in the local Democratic Party, and how hard did you try and work to get everybody together to, to widen the party? Such a great question. I think I really noticed it after the governor election, specifically when Beto O'Rourke, a candidate that our local party campaigned very hard for, we had Beto here twice with huge, huge turnouts. And many of us here in Victoria County worked very hard. When that didn't work out, I think there were a lot of folks who were very angry and bitter about that. And then it was time to kind of reassess. What I wanted to do, Don, is like, look at all the numbers. Where did we get the votes? Where did we not get the votes? Which precincts did we do the best in? But there didn't seem to be an enthusiasm to do that. I remember trying to put up a PowerPoint, an analysis of all this data-driven things, and it didn't seem like the majority of the precinct chairs were interested in taking that deep dive. Rather, their philosophy was, well, we just need to find more Democrats. We just need to gather <laughs> Democrats more, but there aren't enough. So we're yeah. gonna have to reach out to different moderate and conservative voices if we're ever going to want to win an election. And I think the conclusion sadly that I reached on is that some of these folks are not necessarily concerned with winning elections. They just want to be right. And they want everybody else to know how right and pure and wonderful they are. I don't think that's good for Victoria County and it's certainly something that I don't want to spend my time doing. Very interesting. Mr. Wagner, thanks again for coming by. We really appreciate all the time that you spend here in our studio letting people know about politics. Thank you, Don, for all that you do. You bet. Thank you. All right. James and Karina, back to you.